Hey strangers on the internet, it's me, Nico Me, and today I am fresh off my playthrough of Splatoon 2 Test Fire. Now, I love this so much, okay? I cannot describe to you how much I love Splatoon. Splatoon is my favorite game of this generation, the Wii U, PS4, Xbox One generation. Um, it is my favorite new, P new IP since I can't even remember when. Uh, I just love Splatoon so much. I love unique, amazing games that are just so much much fun to play and this is all of that all wrapped up in one I have never enjoyed a first-person shooter as much as I've enjoyed this game I've never enjoyed uh, uh, just uh, such a weird amazing game okay it's uh, it's great with that being said Splatoon 2 has so many high hype for me high expectations and I think it really met that in this test fire uh, there are a lot of things I was excited for, like new specials, the new guns, uh, the splat doolies, of course. Um, and I got to play with all of them, and I had so much fun. Uh, one thing that I really, really, really have to say without um, any bias is... This was the first time I ever played motion controls. Throw tomatoes all you want. I don't really like motion controls. And honestly, I was pretty ignorant. I was like, eh, I don't like motion controls. I'm never going to try them with Splatoon. Seriously, the 80, uh, no, it was over 100 hours I had on Splatoon, the original Splatoon, never touched motion controls. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. And to my surprise, I really, really, really love the motion controls. It makes it a lot more severe, makes it more intense. I really enjoy them. Uh, one thing that really, really, really got me was um, it just feels a lot different playing it on a pro controller uh, than it did playing on a gamepad. I actually like the pro controller a lot more than the gamepad because it's uh, more slender, more fit to the hand more, you can get to the buttons easier I feel. Uh, it was just me accidentally going into the map or accidentally hitting something I'm not used to it being there uh, really got me sometimes but it didn't really hinder my experience that much and eventually uh, I really got used to these new controls and I like them way better than the original Splatoon. So uh, definitely the first thing I noticed were um, I do like the controls a lot better on this. It's a lot easier, a lot more accessible, I feel. It just feels a lot better on the Pro Controller. Don't know what it's like playing on the grip, and I don't know what it's like playing on handheld. I really wanted to get as much gameplay as I could, um, so I only had it docked. So during the next uh, test fire, which is tonight, I'm going to try out handheld mode and see what it's like. Honestly... All of the Switch games I've played so far, I've enjoyed more on the handheld. I really like handheld mode. So, I might like Splatoon 2 on the handheld even more. I just really have to see because there's so many different buttons and the I don't know how the motion controls work with that necessarily. But I'll get into it. I want to see what it's like so bad. So, no, uh, no clue on what it's like to play controller mode. But I did play it on dock mode. Uh, so, what else did I notice? I really like the Splat Duelies. I do think they're a bit overpowered, but not as overpowered as I feared. Um, the roll, oh my gosh. Okay, so, uh, Splat Duelies on their own, I feel, is the best weapon. But they also get the roll, which is extremely, extremely overpowered, but also very cool, too. Um, so I really enjoyed doing the roll. Uh, it was very fun, very uh, useful. Um, but I really, really love the new specials more than anything. Um, I really like the punch thing, where you uh, hit, like hit the ground and there's ink explosions near you uh, that surrounds you, uh, and it kills uh, and splats everyone around you. I thought that was really cool. I really like the... Um, the the missiles that it was like octa missiles where it sent like eight different missiles at once and it locked onto someone. I really 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 and my favorite one was the jetpack. Uh, so cool how you get to fly, shoot from the sky, um, shoot down under you. The jetpack like the stream that held. Yeah. Keeps it up, uh, also shoots down ink, and then also when you're done with it, you get to fly up in the sky and see, like, uh, the surroundings, which is really cool. So I really like that. Um, the good thing is it's not completely overpowered because I've noticed that I died very easily while on that jetpack because it's so easy for people to see you. So it's definitely a good balance. It's not, um, super overpowered, and that's the special that goes with the Splat Duelies, too. So, um, it's a really fun combination, those two. Uh, there's also like this weird like hydra uh, beam of 
uh, ink that there it was just really really cool. It was with the um, the sniper set. I really liked it. I just didn't really know how to use it to the full advantage. So um, I have to wait and see what I fully think about that. But it was cool. I tried every single weapon set. I liked them all. Um, nothing really is different with like the roller or the sniper or the splatter shot. But it just all feels a lot better. Graphically, graphics gra is graphically a word. I don't know. Uh, graphically. The, um, the graphics do look improved. Everything looks more glossy, more vibrant, more, um, the ink just looks a lot better and all the colors look more vibrant. And also, like, the, the, the animations uh, are a lot better, I feel. Um, like, when there's, you can see the ink on other, um, squids and, uh, other, uh, characters in the game. Um, there was this one map where it's like a, a rock climbing wall in the background. Uh, I thought that looked phenomenal. I thought it was it was so much fun. I hope there's a lot of cool maps like that in the real in the final version uh, because it was that was like one of my favorite maps in Splatoon history. Like it was so cool. I love that map um, and just everything about it was so much fun. Um, and then there's also um, like some new uh, like I don't know how to describe it, but it's like. Um, these new just animations everywhere. Like, I can't put my, like, finger on them, but, like, there's one where, like, you need to see the specials if they're loaded on your partners and which special they are. Um, the dying animation where there's, like, ink on you, like, the blood is different. What, like, the, the ink that kind of looks like blood is different. Um, it just all looks better. Uh, and then, it, it, but it's not d too different either where it, it gets rid of the Splatoon, um, core like what makes Splatoon cool and unique it doesn't get rid of that also the new music there's some jams in there like when you lose or like when you I think it's the same when you win or lose but like um right after that where the results are it, it's it's a jam let me tell you it is so much fun I really 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 liked dancing to it like it was like oh what a fun pastime there was no um mini game to play in between. I hope they add one. Uh, it was something that was exclusive to the gamepad, so hopefully they can add one, but you know like when you had that little like squid or the inkling that jumped up while the like poisonous ink at the bottom was chasing you? There wasn't one of those, which I was like, okay, it's okay. Hopefully they'll add one in the final version. Um, I really, really, really just had a fun time. Everything was fast. Everything was nice. Um, there, there isn't like too many new things, but it's not a fault of the game either. Um, the, the Splatoon, the original Splatoon came out two years ago, so you can't really expect a brand new, like, like a, like a resurfaced, reimagined Splatoon, because if they did that, it would have been too rushed and too, um, drastic, where I think this is a very, very nice sequel to Splatoon 1. Uh, to the f effect that it looks better, it plays better, there's more creative ideas, um, it, it's just fun. It's Splatoon is such a fun game, such a fun idea. Um, I think if they try to change it up too much this early in its lifetime, um, there it could see some faults. So I'm happy they, they kind of took this safe in a good way, since a lot of people didn't play the original Splatoon, and this will be the first time playing it. Um, as a Splatoon, uh, uh, original Splatoon player who played it for hundreds of hours, um, it's different enough where it's fun and fresh, but it's similar enough to the original where I don't feel disrupted or feel uh, attacked on my Splatoon um, nostalgia. And one thing about nostalgia real quick, I don't know if you get the same feeling for other like Splatoon players who play this, but like this game already feels nostalgic for me in this weird way. Like I've had such like this connection, weird like emotion toward this game where it's like I'm really really in love with this franchise to the point where I really felt like wow, like whenever I, I play a new Pokemon game that same nostalgia comes back to me. Um, despite me playing Pokemon and being my favorite series for over like okay since I was born. Um, so it's just so so interesting how I already feel this big connection with this game, and I'm so excited to see like like there's just so many things where I was like I miss this like I can't wait for map rotations I can't wait for all the different customizations every time you died or every I'm sorry every time you played a new match you were a different type of squid. Um, like, customization-wise, and it, everyone looks so different, and every time you look like a completely different, uh, Inkling. It really showed the potential in customization. I can't wait to customize 
my inkling. Um, and I just, oh, I just, I hope there's, like, more colors. Like, I really, like, there wasn't any, like, new colors, but, like, maybe, I don't know, like, they actually, okay, now that I think about it, they basically have every single color, um, out there, so maybe, maybe not, um, but uh, maybe different shades. I don't know. I feel like we didn't see everything. We obviously didn't see everything in this, uh, test fire, but I definitely got a feel for it, and I really, really enjoyed everything about it. Um, I really, really cannot wait for Splatoon 2. Um, I really hope, like, now now that they give us the test fire, um, and it, it's set to come out in summer, I don't know if I'll be able to survive, like, past June, because now that I got a taste for it, like, I need it now, and I can't wait for, like, it, in five hours from me recording this, um, I will be able to play it again, and I can't wait, it's so much fun, and they really, like, made this, like, Splatoon 1, in my opinion, is like a perfect game. They made this more perfect. They added more creative ideas, uh, better graphics, better just a feel of the game, and they just improved on what I thought was already a perfect game. So I really, really, really appreciate that. I hope there's a lot more um, interesting, creative uh, map designs like I saw in this. Like uh, that rock climbing map was just so, so cool. Um, and I hope we see more creative, super, uh, uh, super items like the uh, jetpack like that was so so much fun to use and um i do the one more thing i just remember that's new um you can now hit the x button at least that's what it was on my pro controller and then you go you tight or yeah you pick a another inkling to teleport to and it's, it's a lot faster i feel than it was on the gamepad so i did like that it made the game feel more fast paced and yeah, I just I just really 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 enjoyed this game. Um, again, if you like the original Splatoon, you will love the Splatoon 2. If you haven't played Splatoon 1, uh, it, it is a extremely fun experience. Um, and I can't wait for Splatoon 2. I will be making tons and tons and tons of videos about this test fire alone. But when Splatoon 2 does come out, I'll be making tons of videos of it. Like I just got like the feeling that like this was winter break. 2015. 2015. I spent. I literally spent the whole night playing Splatoon. I didn't go to bed. I literally spent that whole night playing Splatoon. I have that memory in my head. It's just a very, very fun, nice memory of me just playing Splatoon and just memories like that, nostalgia like that, really got me playing this test fire. So I can't wait for Splatoon 2. Um, I can't wait to see what's new in store. Um, I'm excited to see uh, more customization, more maps, more items, more. Um, I, I, I want to see, like, new characters, I want to see new, um, stuff like that, like, new clothing, <sighs> I just love it, and I, I just, oh, uh, just seeing, like, the opening scroller and seeing, like, oh, here's the new maps for this hour, um, and stuff like that, I just can't wait. So, thank you so much for watching, for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, if you enjoy this video, there are other Splatoon 2 videos that I made recently, so you can check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I give my playthrough on Splatoon 2 test fire a 100 out of 100, a 10 out of 10, a 5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.